Welcome to the Supercharged Video Show, where I interview interesting and inspiring people right inside the Tesla. Okay, so we're now on, so, uh, ready? Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm in the car here with John Walters. Yep, that's me. And where are we? We are in Fargo, North Dakota. Yes, we're in Fargo. This has been a great experience already. I've already met a bunch of cool people in this town. And uh, so, John, tell us about what you have going on here in Fargo. So, Fargo, North Dakota, uh, much unlike the Fargo movie, uh, which the Coen brothers have done fantastic with, uh, it is not just a desperate wasteland. It is actually a thriving entrepreneurial community. Uh, there's yes. a lot going on in the downtown. There's uh, revitalization happening and just a really close-knit group of people that really help each other accomplish goals so we can have... It seems like we have a small community, but we're able to do a lot of really large things because we all help each other make some awesome stuff happen. Yeah, very cool. So. Yeah, I've already been to several different offices and met some great people, and, and even the offices themselves are very cool, and I mean, they're kind of loft-like spaces with, you know, the exposed brick and all that stuff, so oh, yeah. that always lends to the creative process, it seems like. A lot, yeah. But, uh, but anyway, so what's what about this uh, million cup thing? One million cups. Yes. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, One Way Cup started three years ago in Kansas City, and it started as a group of people that got together and said, you know, if we drank a million cups of coffee together, <laughs> we, <laughs> oh a yeah, million. if we drank a million cups of coffee together, what would happen? Our communities would be much closer together. We'd have much better ideas. Uh, we'd be able to figure out how to do things a lot better. Um, so they started every Wednesday just getting together and drinking coffee and talking through entrepreneurial things, startups. Now, was this in the morning? Yep, in the morning. Gotta ask that. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, otherwise... If you're having a million cups at night, then we got real problems because no one's going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, for at night, we have startup drinks. So that's uh, what we're going to be going to tonight. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, so startup drinks, that's going to be a blast. It's uh, all the entrepreneurs get together and they uh, basically just talk to each other, get to know each other, network, and that's really where this process goes. So... One Million Cups, it is now in the format three years later where an entrepreneur comes up and pitches for six minutes, says, this is the problem I saw, this is how I want to solve it, and uh, that's my spiel. Then from there, we have 20 minutes of Q&A. Uh, the audience gets to ask questions to that person, say, well, have you thought of this? Have you thought of that? They basically open up potential blind spots for that entrepreneur. Ah, uh, perfect. Because oh. that's the thing, You a lot of times, there's so many ideas that you come up with and you can't think of all the different things. You just can't. Yeah. You know, you don't have the ex all the multiple experiences that everyone in the crowd might have. Yeah. And oftentimes you're you're working so hard at it, you're just heads down. So when you're yeah. able to come up a little bit, look around, um, things start happening. So from there we have a lot of entrepreneurs that'll ask questions. Well, hey, I'm dealing with the same thing. How did you overcome this? Or where did you get funding? How did you approach these things? So it's not only helping the presenter, it's helping the community themselves actually become better entrepreneurs, which is fantastic. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. The biggest reason people continue to come, though, is the community. It's the networking that happens. So beforehand and after, they just get together and they drink coffee. We average about 150 people every single week that show up to this from 9.15 wow. to 10.15. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. And yeah. what's happening is they're getting to know each other better. They say it takes an average of seven encounters with an individual to build a meaningful relationship with that person. So your first encounter is normally... The watered down, oh, what do you do for a living? And where do you live? And tell yeah. me your story. The same stuff you've been asking all over the place. Yeah. But now after the fourth, fifth time, you already know those things about this person. So you start asking real questions. How's the wife? What did you do this weekend? How is your business going? Um, and you really start to get to know each other. So by having it every single week, you're not just having those ambiguous ends of meeting saying, hey, I'll catch you later. It'll be, we'll have to get together again soon. Very ambiguous ends. Where this way, it's now, hey, I'll see you on Wednesday morning. Right. And you yeah. know you're going to see this person again. So it's it's been a great way. Our community has grown a lot because of that. They're getting to know each other better. They're being very more open with each other. Say, well, you know, I just, I've been struggling with this thing. Well, here, let me help you. Now, oftentimes, an entrepreneur will sit there, keep their idea to themselves because... Yeah. They're afraid someone's going to steal it. Uh, yeah. We're here. We embrace the challenges and we come up with a solution as a community. So Very it's cool. it's been great. I've only lived here for about a year and a half. I moved from Boulder, Colorado. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. And I grew up I'm, in Colorado. Oh, did you really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's an amazing place. Oh, yeah. I moved here in December of 2013. It was negative 26 degrees here. Oh, man. Oh, now, yeah. Boulder has obviously a very thriving um, starter community as well. Yes. So can you give us a, maybe a couple of contrasts or any, you know, perspectives on the two differences? Or So I actually wasn't heavily involved in the Boulder um, oh, okay. startup community. I learned about it after I left. Ah. I heard about Brad Feld and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. the startup communities, things of that nature. So I know more about it now that I'm not there than right. when I was there. Right, right. So, uh, but yeah, so I moved here and I'm not going anywhere. It's yeah. an amazing community. Everyone wants to help out and yeah, I couldn't be happier. Cool. So. Well, that's awesome. So if anyone wants to find out more, about you or the organization, what's the best place for them to reach out to? Uh, best way is reach out to me from John from Fargo at gmail.com, J O N F <laughs> uh, from Fargo. Uh, also on Twitter is at John from Fargo, keeping it easy. So, oh, hey, hey, branding, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly it. All right, well, hey, thanks so much for spending a few minutes. Of course, Appreciate it. pleasure, thanks. Right. Yeah, boom.